Thank you so much, James. I, I think you guys should do this every day. You know, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I think I should skip the presentation and just we continue all the games and the singing and, and the beautiful things that you guys do. But, but really, thank you so much. Um, let me a little bit. I know you know that was an amazing introduction by James as well. Uh, someone who I I admire big time. I've known him for years and years. Uh, what I mentioned, how many years? He's still young and energetic as usual, but uh, a person who uh, I always seen trying to create a change within our uh, changing media landscape. Uh, but before I, I get into my, um, my basically talk, I would like to thank the team as well. Uh, sorry, I don't wanna mention names. I don't wanna forget anyone, but for the follow-up, for the emails, for the encouragement, for all the, all the marketing efforts, this, this is great and I think uh, you deserve what you're doing and Dubai deserves it. And I encourage everyone to, to definitely uh, join this, this amazing movement. So let me get into, into this talk. Uh, James calls me and he says, Abdel Latif, I want you to talk about Ripple. That's the only word he left me with. I said, James, what's happening? He said, that's the thing. You know, this is how you need to tackle your creativity. It's, it's basically Ripple. So I started thinking, it's that, that's, that's one magic word, what can I do with it? You know, and then the only ripple probably I know, and many of you uh, probably know, is water and the wave in the water and the movement in the water. And then when we throw uh, an object in the water or if there is a wind that, or a breeze that creates a movement, that's, that's what I know and that's what comes into my mind. And then when I started thinking and trying to put the talk together, um, a saying by Mahatma Gandhi came into my mind. Uh, he says, be the change you would like to see in the world. So it's always something that I keep on the back of my head. And, and I always believe that, yes, you want to be that change. And then immediately, you know, when, when I think of a ripple, I think of a change. But then let me pause for a second and look into who we have here from attendees. Uh, each one of us, from time to time, we get into situations where we are uh, probably frustrated, uh, unhappy, we wake up in the middle of the night, and, and mainly let me talk about, about it from a career perspective. Uh, maybe I'm not on the right path, I haven't uh, created the impact I want to create in the world, not necessarily in the entire universe, but what I mean by the world is, is my own world, maybe my family engaged, maybe my friends. So it could be any circle that we are uh, thinking of. Uh, but then we start also looking at it, but wait a second, why do, we, why do we wait for that ripple to happen? Why do we go through that frustration? Why we don't become the ripples and the change that we would like to see? And this is where basically I would like to uh, focus and what I wanna touch on in, in today's talk. Now, let me give, give you my own personal interpretation when it comes to ripples. Um, the way I look at it, it's always what sort of impact I can have on other people's lives. Uh, so I can encourage them uh, to do something different, uh, to do something that will impact our world positively. So every little act, and it's not necessarily is measured by the size of the act or by, by the size of the action. Uh, I look at it from something could be, you know, as simple as a phone call, which I'm, I'm going to come to uh, when I share with you uh, my slides. But then also when I look at what we do here as an agency, I come across a lot of clients who do things to create a ripple uh, across the community, across the city, across the universe sometimes as well. Uh, we have clients who are very much into environmental. This is something you can see them how passionately they want to fix things. You have environments who are looking at education and schooling and how they want to provide kids with a better schooling system and, and enhance that. You have also individuals and, and probably individuals what I'm interested to talk about more here. Uh, people who want to coach, people who want to basically elevate the morale of other people, people who want to be trainers, people like you, you know, who basically gathering everyone in this uh, morning talk. Uh, because you want them to benefit. Uh, so it, when, it, when it comes to the uh, ripple of individuals, I want you to also rewind a little bit and go back nine, 10 months to the um, 
when the pandemic started or when we were at that very critical stage of the pandemic, we still can hear the shout of people in Wuhan talking to one another and saying, hey, you know, Wuhan, let's stay strong. But that did not, wasn't heard only in Wuhan. It was heard in Dubai and it was heard in New York and it was heard almost everywhere around the world. The tennis play between the two girls in Milan, you know, one who's uh, sitting in one balcony and the other one a separate building, but then they are bouncing balls telling the world, yay, here we are enjoying the game when the world is shut. Yes, we cannot leave our apartments, but we are enjoying that game and you can do the same as well. Then we can also hear the flamingo guitar, you know, that's probably we heard it in Madrid and we enjoyed it again. Uh, here in the UAE. But also there was this statement that came during that time from our own leadership. And that statement was very, very clear to us. Do not worry, as long as you are here in the UAE. We'll look after you, we'll take care of you. So a lot of these ripples, you know, it, it, it did not only stay at that moment. I think these are the type of ripples we will carry with us, you know, for the rest of our life. So each one of us, each one of us, in my opinion, is a ripple. And the minute that we become that ripple and we start creating that impact, the amount of feeling that we can have, you know, I'd say it's number one, we, we're gonna become strong and powerful. It's, you know, we're gonna become meaningful to the rest of the world, positive, have a lot of energy, happy. So it's, it's, it's always how you can become the next rapper. Now, this leads me to a few slides that I put together. Um, I'll try as much as I can not to take you through all the slides, a little bit, uh, I think, long, and also because I want to give you the opportunity uh, to ask questions, to engage with us, and, and we try to make this as beneficial as, as possible. So let me start the, very quickly with my own rapper. My own ripple was probably a tiny little thing uh, that changed my life, that changed the life of my family. It changed the life of other people as well. It was a phone call, a phone call that I, I'm, I'm not sure if everyone sees my slide. I just wanna make sure it's, it's up, it's great, yeah? Okay. So it's, it started with a phone call, a phone call from a personality that I would like to mention his name as well, because uh, these are one of the uh, uh, proud moment that I repeatedly, you know, like, like to say it. And every time I say it, it makes me happier and happier. It was His Excellency Mohammed al Kirgawi, you know, a person who's behind a lot of movement in the country. It's a phone call. Now, a lot of us, we receive a lot of phone calls every day on, on our mobile phones. Sometimes we ignore them. Sometimes we check caller IDs. Sometimes we do, we do not answer. Uh, but that, that phone call changed my life. That was the phone call. And all I heard, we are starting a new project and I want you to jump in. That's it. Within 24 hours, I had to make a decision. And I did jump in. But then I wanted to create ripples as well. So he changed my life. He changed the life of my family. He changed the life of my friends, I would say, as well. And I wanted to do the same. So I started that movement and I started being the ripples. That will engage other people as well. So I started bringing people on board. But every time I brought people on board, I brought their families as well. I brought their friends as well. That was the entire spectrum behind it. You know, it's not you are not just recruiting those individuals, but there is there is an entire chain and ripples that goes with it. So the happiness does not only stop there. Uh, so so yes. You know, this is something I happily continued and I, I saw it uh, growing. So that one phone call changed my life and I was grateful and I'll always be grateful. And knowing that these people as well, whether it was with the AMG when I was with that company or when I moved to uh, Asai as well. So it, it is always important. And this is probably the second message I want to leave you with. It's important that we leave that ripple, you know, we want people to remember us through these ripples. Now, you all know the personality here, uh, you know, the presentation, um, who does not know Bill Gates? But do you think he's the smartest person when it comes to technology or probably there are people who are smarter than him? Uh, moving to uh, Da Vinci, you know, 
the Mona Lisa and a lot of his paintings that you go to Paris, probably that's the first thing you want to see. Uh, someone who I'm not sure if a lot of you know or not, but he did not finish his school. Uh, he was a personality, but then again, the ripple of sharing his art was always there. And that's that's almost, you know, went through the world. One, one probably quick information. In 1962, only the Mona Lisa was valued at $100 million. If we value that today, it is almost $850 million, you know, for someone, again, who created that sort of uh, ripples. Uh, the guy who basically surprises us every day with his uh, space dream, uh, I'm sure probably there are other people who are more ambitious, but again, he created that ripple, that's why he's there. But do you know who they are? And I'm talking about, you know, these other people who unfortunately did not create that report. So what I'm trying to say here, nobody, nobody will ever know them and nobody will ever come to know their names. And, and, and what I try to, to say here, be that ripple, even at a very small environment, not necessarily for us, we need to be like the Bill Gates and we need to be the, like the Steve Jobs and everyone else, but then within our own environment, within even our own family, we can be uh, that ripple we wish to be. Now, uh, you know, it's, it's either we are a ripple, as I said at the beginning, we can make the water uh, move, or we can be that rock that stays at the bottom of a lake or an, an, an ocean. Now, people are talented, and people have enthusiasts, and people have a lot to share and to show. If we do a quick rewind as well, or if we go with time uh, 200 years it's behind, there was no way that we can do what we can do today, probably in the past, and, and remembering during the radio and the TV days. Talents used to come to us begging and asking for a time slot. Please give me a chance to be on radio. Please give me a chance, you know, to present this on TV. Please write an article about me in newspaper. All the tools are available today. The shout in Dubai can be heard in New York, and the shout in New York can be heard in Dubai. You know, the world became, it's not a small village anymore. It's even, you know, a small house, I would say. So the tools are there for those talents to be spread. It's, it's always the power of individual and what the individual can do to create those ripples. Um, we are all human ripples here and uh, every day is a ripple. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna skip a, a few slides. Let me touch a little bit on, into this negative ripples and I'll give a couple of examples here. Sometimes we underestimate some of the smallest acts that we have. Uh, let's say, for example, if we have a client and we are submitting a very small creative work and we don't submit on time, uh, probably we have a justification for the clients not to be upset. It's a small creative, why should they act you know, upset? But then we always underestimate the ripples of that. You know? What if that piece of creative was meant to be a big logo for a launch? What if that launch event uh, was happening on a certain dates where people were traveling from around the world and they already booked their ticket? What if these people who are traveling from around the world, they already leaving their families and they had better things to do if you know, they, they, they weren't coming to this event? So unfortunately, sometimes our imagination does not take us that far it's like if any of us, you know, and most of us probably, we took our car coming to work today. If we bump, and, and, and this is a real story that took place uh, two months ago. I was with a friend, uh, we were in the car. We bumped into someone's car. So probably, you know, there were small damages. The guy left his car in tears, crying. You know, we, we were so surprised. Wait a second, small accident. Why would a guy cry? Uh, someone in his uh, probably early 20s, we said, are you okay? We thought first he was hurt. We said, are you okay? Are you fine? You know, don't worry, it will get fixed. You know, uh, our car is insured, so you, you shouldn't worry about the damages. He said, no. He said, I've been jobless for almost a year and I'm heading to an interview. The only interview I'm shortlisted to. And this is my opportunity to get a job. But the story does not stop here. 
We said, it's okay, don't worry, it's fine. Hopefully you'll make it the reschedule. He said, no, you don't understand. My interview is with a chairman who flew from another city and he came here just to conduct this interview and he's traveling this afternoon. We said, uh, uh, okay, is there anything we can do? He said, that it does not end here. He said, my mother lives with me and I can only afford the apartment for another month. If I don't get this job, I need to send her back home and back home is not safe. So it's, it's again, the ripple effects, you know, whether it's positive or negative, we always have to spread our imagination and to see what is way behind it, you know, where does it stop? And we, and we should never underestimate how powerful it can become. Again, going back to the phone call that changed my life or the little accident I was engaged uh, with my friend. Um, positive ripples, we always want to have that positive ripples. You know, we, we want to be people who, uh, like my friend, by the way, just to continue that story, uh, my friend took the guy on his car and he dropped him off and the guy got the job just for everyone to know. So we, we did not, you know, and we were very happy and we, we, we did share some happy notes with him. Uh, but then just to tell you, you know, some, some of those things, how uh, they really impact us. Um, so what are the daily ripples around us? And, and they are everywhere, but probably we don't notice them. And I'll, I'll touch and probably one of them just again for the sake of time, viral content. We all browse, you know, content on daily basis and we go through hundreds of them, but then we might not be the create, creators of this, you know, we might not have the creativity or we might not even have the time. But then sharing them with someone, uh, something funny that it can go to someone and it can put a smile in his face or her face, that by itself is a ripple. Uh, a great story, a great article, uh, a blog, uh, you know, things that James was referring to earlier, you know, for those sponsors who we thank them to, for sponsoring this. Uh, again, it could be something that we might think is very simple, but it might have a huge impact on people's life once, you know, we create these ripples. Art, culture, and creativity. Look at us today. Probably 70, 80 years ago, trade was the only way that we can exchange culture. But today, you can exchange it within, within a click. So we should, we should not hesitate to do this. Um, fashion, lifestyle, what we wear, it was we spread. You know? So anyone who's spending a lot of time on this creative clothing, it's us. You know, if you want to spread them. So we become that ripple and then it starts growing uh, over time and becomes a fashion environment. It's an, an environment we, we all see from time to time, how we go with these big messages, talking about big organization, what they need to do and what is their role to protect our environment. But then we come in and we start thinking about the smallest act that sits with each one of us and how we can create even bigger impact and more positive impact to protect our environment and instead of just putting the blame on you know, some, some international bodies or organizations or even countries. So again, we, we own these ripple effects and we can activate them uh, immediately. Business, now when it comes to business, uh, we can do a lot when it comes to that. So we, we should not uh, underestimate this. And there's something I wanna I wanna mention here, probably on you know uh, my next slide. Sometimes we underestimate uh, people. It, it has nothing to do with this slide, but I'll come to it. We sit with people sometimes in strange places, um, and I'll give you a personal story. And someone might be sitting in your right hand side or left, and then you know they they could be the next change uh, in our life. I was sitting in a pitch, this was almost a year and a half ago, someone was sitting on my left, uh, he was a competitor. Uh, we exchanged a few words, uh, they were more than enough for me to, to understand how he think and his mentality. Uh, I lost the pitch to him, so he won the pitch. I came back and he was always there on the back of my head. Today he's the group CEO of this organization. You know, I went to him, I said, you know what? I was, I was very happy, I was very inspired. Uh, Alex, I want you to come on board. And he joined forces now with the rest of the leaders we have in this organization. And he's pushing uh, everyone uh, towards the next stage of, of, of this business. So again, that was just 
a stranger who was sitting on my left, so we should not. There is, there is always ripple surrounding us as well. Uh, during the pandemic, we saw businesses rise and we saw businesses unfortunately shut and close and, and people running out of business. But then again, why we could not ride on that wave? Uh, surfers, you know, there are people who wait for these big waves. You know, they'll wait sometimes for months, they'll wait for weeks just for them to ride. And there are people who run away from them. So it depends on what, what type of people we are. And then of course, uh, we always wanna be prepared, you know, for the ripples. We never know where, where they might come from and how we can create them and why do we need to create them and for what reason and what sort of impacts we wanna create in the world. Uh, negative ripples, I, I think it should end with us, you know, even if it's created by somebody else, you know, we are the power of ending it, uh, not sharing it, not talking about it, not making it bigger than its size, then it means that can immediately come to an end. Um, I'm not gonna take you through uh, this case study is a little bit long. I wanna give you a chance to interact as well. Uh, we should ripple wisely and we see it unfortunately in social media. It happens with a lot of famous people, influencers. They say the wrong thing and then you know it takes them a lot of time trying to fix it. So we have to always think uh, what is the ripple, how we wanna do this. One great example, I think we all appreciate what has happened in this city or this country and how we dealt uh, with the pandemic. Uh, we are all proud and it all happened because we committed and we worked with the leadership as one team. Uh, the UAE right now probably is the place where we can see a lot of movements happening from other cities and other countries and people start now comparing, uh, okay, why the UAE? manage the pandemic in such way that other probably cities who are considered more advanced could not do this. But again, it is that teamwork. It is how, how everyone contributed. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't about the rules and the policies and no, no, it, it's us. It's us as a team. We made whatever happened, happen. And we're still gonna continue until hopefully very soon we're out, out of uh, this pandemic. Um, I think in conclusion, I want to say uh, your challenge starts every day. If, if, if you haven't been, you know, that ripple, I, I would say be that ripple, you know, at, at whatever scale you can. Uh, I would say what we will do, that will make people remember you. Always think, what do you want to be remembered for? That's what matters when you are creating a ripple. Uh, are you being a positive or negative ripples? That's a question that we have to ask ourselves with every act. And then how far do our ripples reach? How big is our stone and how big is our idea? And then of course, how big is the, the pond? You know, are we basically causing ripples in a small water dish or this is uh, in an entire uh, ocean? Uh, be that human ripple. Uh, the wave starts definitely with you and with each one of you. And, and again, thank you so much for the opportunity. I'll, go, I'll be more than happy uh, to take any questions and to engage with, with any of you. But again, thank you so much. I saw also some personal notes from people that I did not see for years. Very, very honored to have everyone here. Thank you so much again.